One of the main changes regarding PvP in Arcane Odyssey is the new secondary stats formulas. Their effect scales differently which can alter how much you invest into each stat. There have been many misconceptions going around, so I'm here to clear this up. Do know that everything here is tested and should only be treated as an estimate. Just like previously, I used Defense Aura and Intensity to measure the effects of secondary stats. After measuring with 32 different amounts of intensity and using Desmos Regression, I ended up with this formula. Now what does this formula mean? As you see here, I have both the old and new formulas plotted. I also have this black line showing how much time stronger the new formula is compared to the old one. There are a few key points to take away. 1. The new formula appears to be much more linear than before, meaning that it drops off less at higher investments. 2. The new formula is quite weaker, peaking at 23.8% weaker at 23 stats. 3. The new formula actually becomes better than the old one at 209 stats or above. Now there have been many misconceptions which I will go over one by one. The first is that low investments are completely useless now. Stats around 30 to 50 are about 22% weaker than before, but that is only around the 4% nerf in their effect overall. Although that is a decent nerf, that doesn't mean that you should invest 100 plus into each secondary stat. Since exotic jewels force you to get extra secondary stats, you will probably have enough extra secondary stats to invest 60 into each. Remember, secondary stats are still secondary, and sacrificing primary stats to get over 100 of each secondary stat, not including intensity, is not worth it. Another claim that people make is that 200 agility is absolutely necessary for any build. Although this makes you able to run an air stall very easily, you won't be able to trade damage or become an end lag demon effectively. Instant dodges and high jumps also lower the total time you are in the air, which might not be ideal in PvP, especially if you are fighting mages with large AoE attacks such as Pulsar and Surge, you would much rather have 40 extra power than 120 extra agility. Overall, the secondary stats were nerfed for a good reason. The new exotic tools allow for much higher secondary stats, and making the new curve more linear is definitely a good thing. If you want to see my estimate of the new formula, I'll put my decimals graph in the description of this video. There's even a spot where you can enter your old stats to see how many stats you need to match it. I think that getting around 200 total secondary stats is the most optimal balance of primary and secondary stats, but what do you guys think? If you think I'm missing something, please comment down below.